Okay. First time. Haven't heard it. Haven't played it. Let's go. Shout out to Ramen Noodle for charting this. Always charting everything so freaking quick. Reminds me of the intro to Solway Firth. Tonight up on the hill, we're buttering the buddy. Are you hurting me? <laughs> Let me say the word I'm for. Wow, how nice of them to put a coffee break for me in the song start. You're all I can think about. The taste is red and rust. Can I hold you in my mouth? Until I fade into this form Can you cover me? Will you breathe? Cool. Chorus riff was pretty dope. Almost a bit of a corn riff. Yeah, maybe. Lit biscuit from the 2000s. I've always thought like scratching solos are so fucking funny. <laughs> my attention now. It has my attention now. That last trip was really fucking good. Somebody in the chat says, this is very different, not in a good way. I mean, I listen, I don't know how you could listen to the last album and then listen to this and say that it's it's totally different. Like, it's, they're kind of all over the place and they have been for a while. Yeah, I, I honestly, I've never, okay, listen, I'm going to, I'm going to level with you, everybody. The people, even, even the people who are like, we are not your kind, that's, man, they're bad now. They're bad now. It's like, listen, to me, I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking shoot straight here. Slipknot has always sounded exactly the same. Their riffs are always like this. Alright, the riffs are always like this.
like for since 1999. So like if you listen to that, you're like, that's way too different. I'm it's no, no, I, no, I don't know. To me, that was just that's a Slipknot song right there. And that's uh, it was good. It was good. The intro was kind of slow, but they had that riff in the middle. Super dope. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Caught my interest about halfway through, I would say. 